Hello and welcome back. Today we look back at CNN. While no longer the Clinton News Network, rest in pieces, CNN still pushes hard for the left and is starkly anti-everything Trump. Probably because they're still butthurt little babies about being called fake news. Give us a question. Give a question. Can you, I'm not going to give you a can question. You can you stay categorically? You are fake news. Sir, Go ahead. can you stay categorically that nobody... And instead of being humble, apologizing, and moving on so they can rebuild their reputation, CNN has doubled down on their rhetoric, and it's really starting to spiral out of control. The latest news story to throw them for a loop was President Trump's announcement that he may be investigating into voter fraud and looking into strengthening up voting procedures. Sounds pretty uncontroversial, right? Looking into voter fraud, tightening up the voting process, making the elections more fair and accurate. Who could be against that? Well, CNN is apparent. We will get into why shortly, but for now, let's look into CNN's initial reaction from Jake Tapper. President Trump is claiming and the White House is reaffirming the fiction that millions of illegal votes were cast in the 2016 election. It is empirically a stunning allegation for which the White House is providing no evidence. Tapper sounds pretty pissy. Moments ago, White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer acknowledged that the president believes three to five million votes were illegally cast in November. It was interesting what Mr. Spicer did not say. He did not say that he shared the belief even after he was asked. Now, why would that be? Perhaps because there's zero evidence of widespread voter fraud in the 2016 election. The reason there's zero evidence is because there hasn't been an extensive study done into voter fraud. That's why Trump wants to look into it. If President Trump's beliefs are true, Republican leaders in Congress should be holding hearings and trumpeting this injustice every single day. His Justice Department, his Department of Homeland Security, all of them would need to crack down immediately. Unless, of course, it's not even remotely true. Well, I think that's what the government will do if they find voter fraud. They will crack down, obviously. Here's where I start to get suspicious of CNN. It seems they not only don't believe there's voter fraud at all, no way, not even a chance, but it also seems they don't even want people to look into it. What have you got to hide, CNN? Let's see where this goes in our next clip from CNN's New Day. The president, as you know, continues to uh, insist that millions of people voted illegally, and that's why he lost the popular vote. There is zero proof of that type of scale of fraud. We know that the research that is cited by him, his people, and now even the press secretary, Sean Spicer, is erroneous. Again, I don't understand this notion of there's no evidence of fraud, so let's not even investigate. Sounds kind of sketchy to me. What do you make of his insistence? Well, I, <clears throat> I think it's always important to make sure we don't have illegal votes. We know we have them. We don't check ID uh, when somebody comes to vote. That's right. The USA doesn't even check people's IDs for voting. And you want to tell me there isn't room to tighten up voting procedures? Let's start by making people show a fucking ID and prove who they are. They card people at the bar. Cigarettes require an ID. Shit, they still card me for booze at Costco and I'm a grown ass 30 year old man. I don't see why asking for identification to vote for the leader of the free world is even a question. We should have American citizens voting. We should know who's walking into the voting booth and I would uh, support anything we do to make sure that our elections are secure, that it's only citizens voting. And if we do an investigation, and uh, it sounds like we're going to, I'm all in support of This guy is totally reasonable. And look, he's a Republican. Shocker. This is why the country is turning back to the right people. CNN and the left are going insane. Republicans are the only ones who sound like real people anymore. If I said to you that 95% of Congress is dirty, and therefore we should investigate, and there's no basis for what I just said in terms of that scale of corruption or unethical behavior, you'd be okay with that because it's always good to know for sure? Uh, I don't think that's the same as the integrity of our elections, Chris. This is CNN moving to the next step. First, they discredited the claims of voter fraud. Now this guy's saying we shouldn't even look into it. What a talented journalist he is. He's like the opposite of an investigative journalist. He's a let's not investigate it journalist. Woodward and Bernstein would be proud. Well, unlike these hacks at CNN, I do want to investigate. I'm naturally curious, like a cat. <coughs> And I have a sneaking suspicion that CNN is being told by Democrats to bury the story. They don't want voter ID laws because the left has been relying on illegal voters for years. Why else would they spin the story this way? Any sane person would say, hey, I don't know if there's fraud, but go ahead and look into it to be safe. I mean, why not? It's like if the president said, hey, let's make sure the banks are still working, huh? What, you guys want to make sure the banks are going? Or what about electricity? Should we check on electricity? Maybe just like a safety check? Does anyone mind? Lastly, let's look at a clip from Don Lemon's show. So you've launched an investigation. We're going to launch an investigation to find out, and then the next time, and, and I will say this, of those votes cast, none of them come to me. 
none of them come to me. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty. This is why CNN is really throwing a fit about investigating voter fraud. Because all the legal votes are going to their side, the Democrats. They would all be for the other side. None of them come to me. But when you look at the people that are registered, dead, illegal, and two states, and some cases maybe three states, uh, we have a lot to look into. It's good to see another sane person's take on voter fraud. Trump is right, again. I know, I know. It's like he said before, we're gonna actually get sick of being right and winning all the time. It gets taxing. Okay, this is a very, very important discussion. All right, so yeah. I, I want us to be, be honest about this, because right. I think people are relying on us, obviously, they are, for the truth. Jesus Christ, Don. You're fucking detached from the real world, man. Damn. No one is looking to CNN for the truth anymore. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're exposed liars. Your bias is apparent. Shit, Don. No one's taking you seriously since you got drunk on live TV and broke down on New Year's. The decision yeah, is, Chris? Uh, I'm thinking ear. Or something more fun, but ear's cool. Okay. Ear's cool. Let's do it. Hang on. Hang on. Tell him what we had to do first. We had to be in a sterile place. Can we, can we please, please not uh, give him shots, by the way? Don Lemon isn't just Don Lemon anymore. He is a lemon. Don Lemon is a lemon. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. It's like Don Lemon has become a lemon. Just a bad car that never was meant to work. I'm seriously surprised CNN kept Lemon around after this embarrassment. And I feel the same way about Jim Acosta, the reporter who Trump yelled fake news at, because he was being an immature asshole at the press conference talking over everyone. I'm surprised Acosta didn't get fired too. If Lemon and Acosta acted like that on any other channel, they would have been canned, but not at CNN. Don, there's there's, there's more bit. than this study. There's plenty of evidence. Right? I'm looking right now at the Heritage Foundation sampling of election fraud cases from across the country 742 sampling now 742 criminal convictions 462 cases and this is all across the country and and they have the names of the individuals what they were convicted for when they were convicted okay etc let's and, just and my say my point is let's fix let's find out because the answer is we don't know how many okay fine. I think people want to know that yeah even with what you're saying yeah it does not say Thousands, to five million. millions the, of illegal. The, the, the key word here, millions Don, of was, illegal the votes. The key word was sampling. So the white guy is showing Don proof of voter fraud. The proof CNN has been claiming didn't exist all day. And what does Don do? He says that's not enough proof. Nice pivot there, Lemon. Let me ask you this, Don. How many instances of voter fraud would you require to warrant an investigation then? If 700 isn't enough, then what is it? 1,000? 5,000? 10? To me, even a few shows there's a problem. And this could just be the tip of the iceberg, so let's send a few guys in and check it out. What's the big deal? Trump never said it's going to be a giant million billion dollar investigation. It could just be a few guys what are you afraid of don what are you afraid we're gonna find we have no idea how much of this there is well, I, and so i'm saying let's find it out I, let's I, find it out i want to hear from no. the, the the biggest expert on this whole thing is on this uh, when you're talking about voter suppression it's voter dr fraud, william barber it's dr william who dealt barber. with it you here we go we finally reached cnn's end game the final solution to stop the voter id laws what they call voter suppression i'll let them get into it before i give my two cents You've dealt with it not only dr no. barber during this election cycle but you have dealt with it for many years. Go on. Wow, CNN, can you get any blacker? Listen, we know the guy you're talking about, Vaughn, but he'd been proven to be fraudulent. That's a scary looking black man. He's like leaning forward and looking up at you. He looks like Goldberg right before he hits you with a spear. They brought him to North Carolina and his, his claims were the same claims Republicans used in North Carolina to justify the worst voter suppression law. And the courts ruled against them, said they had engaged in surgical voter suppression. That's the issue. 22 states since 2010, two years after Obama won, have passed voter suppression. Voter suppression, the Democrats spin job trying to stop voter ID laws is, guess what, calling them racist. Classic liberal logic. I can't believe these hacks are still pushing this shit argument. The only people being suppressed by voter ID laws are people who should not be fucking voting. This notion that it's racist to require people to register and bring an ID to vote is preposterous. And to suggest minorities like blacks and Hispanics can't follow these simple voting procedures is insulting to them. Let's see what some black people in Harlem think about this voter suppression theory. Do you have ID normally? You carry ID around? Yes, I have state ID. Do you carry ID? Yes, I do. Do you know anybody who, any black person who doesn't carry ID? No. Everyone that I know has an ID. Well, why would they think we don't have ID? <laughs> That's a lie. So as you can see, not only can minorities get their own IDs, but they're also insulted when liberals like CNN say they aren't able to. Do you know where the ID, the, the DMV is around you? It's on 125th Street and 3rd you know, Avenue, I believe. You know how to get there? Yeah. Do you have a problem getting there if you have to get there? 
It's, I know these sound like silly questions. In fact, when CNN and that scary pastor guy say that voter ID laws are voter suppression and racist, ironically, they're the ones being the racists. In the end, an investigation into the American voting system will not hurt anyone, except people who shouldn't be voting, and the people who would benefit from the faults in the system. Democrats are clearly getting some kind of benefit from lax voter ID laws. Why else would they fight them so hard and call them racist and voter suppression? I suggest we at least meet the same voting requirements as our southern neighbor Mexico, who requires requires all citizens to have a government-issued photo ID with their thumbprint on it. Because currently, it's easier for Mexicans to cross the border and vote in America illegally than it is for them to vote legally in their own goddamn country. What do you guys think? Are voter ID laws racist? Should Trump be looking into voter fraud? Why does Don Lemon still have a job? Comment below and thanks for watching our new episode of No Bullshit. We'll see y'all next time. Hello everyone, we wanted to take an extra minute and have you take a look at these little cute guys. That's kittens, and mitten kittens, and stinker, and widdly do. Those are some of the harmless kittens that have been surviving off of the No Bullshit Patreon account. Go down to No Bullshit Patreon store and uh, donate your money now to save cats and save lives and just be a good person and don't, don't be a dick, you know, don't, don't be a dick for once, for one time. Give us your money to save cats. One more way you can support the No Bullshit Show is buying our merch. We've got all kinds of shirts, mugs, white shirts, black shirts, hoodies, all kinds of cool stuff at our Teespring store. If you're looking for some swag, I definitely recommend checking it out. And all the proceeds go right back into the show so I can make more videos for you guys. Thanks so much for your time. Goodbye again.